Oh, happy birthday from our family straight to yours. Well, it's time for us to catch up with the movies that are opening this weekend. And of course, a big one only because the one, the only, Charlie Hunnam stars in it. Papillon, J.P. Sebastian. Why is he the one, the only? Like, because when I that really, happen? I love him. And I also love that he's not always all over the place. The last time we saw him was in King Arthur, right? Uh, no, it was called The Lost World of Z, which was just after King Arthur. So that's at least interesting about the dude is that the, you didn't know about that yeah. either. Is he... At at least tries to do these indie movies, these exactly. side things. That's what you mean by all over yes, the place. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, which is sort of refreshing for a guy who's just a pretty face. 100%. Uh, to, to try some stuff that stretches him a bit rather than just doing grunting King Arthur. Look at yeah. you, roughing just it in the bushes. Just the plant. Get out of here. Wow. <laughs> Rage today. Maybe maybe release a rage on Papillon, which is a story about a supposed two guys who are trapped in their own kind of rage with a system. It is a true story. Yeah. Uh, Papillon was the nickname of a gentleman who was uh, falsely accused of murdering someone in France. This is 19... Goodness, I've forgotten the day. Uh, but anyway, it's back in the day. Uh, I think just before World War II. And uh, he gets sent to a penal colony. And these are horrible things. These are prisons that are, or from the, in, prisons in general are horrible things. Yeah, yeah. That we should have them and that we should totally forget about a whole cross section of society is despicable. But these guys get shipped off into a colony and within a prison, within a colony. And yeah. there it's totally cruel, it is totally heartless. Uh, he meets Rami Malek. Uh, in fact, uh, tell you what, let's have a look at a scene of the two of them where he's giving his reasons for why he wants to get to know Rami Malek, who is a counterfeiter, uh, put in jail for fraud, but he has some money and, and, and Charlie Hunnam has an idea. Okay, let's check it out. Are you sure no one takes this out, like? Say that you were spot next to me. You've got a lot of eyes on you. I can keep you safe. All I need is enough money for this game. It won't be cheap, but you'll be safe. Send the scorpion to the frog. All scorpions in here, pal. I think I'd be better off taking my chances setting up in front of the guards. Wouldn't you agree? You seem like the kind of man who can make up his own mind. You're a good judge of character. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. Wasn't Rami Malek also the guy that played Freddie Mercury? Yes, he's about to in Bohemian Rhapsody and also in uh, I, Mr. Robot, oh, uh, the, the okay. TV series, I yes, think, is where yes. he was first discovered. He's such a particular guy, and you can hear just his acting. He's very, very particular and pedantic yes. about his uh, delivery and everything like that. Yeah. I love him dearly. Okay. Um, so, yeah. All uh, right, so your take on the film before we get to the popcorn. Okay, the take, uh, at the very least, is it's a remake of the 1973 one. Steve McQueen was Charlie Hunnam, and yeah. Dustin Hoffman was Rami Malek. And so he plays this frail little dude and everything like that, and he gets protected by the big hulking. Uh, criminal dude. Uh, and my take, however, is that they haven't introduced anything necessarily that's new, a yeah. new spin or chapter in the original book that they wanted to yeah. highlight really sharply. That said, as just a, a, an adventure that keeps moving and something that you're working towards the escape, everyone loves watching that feeling of planning, watching yes. the thing unfold and all yes. that kind of stuff. Love it's, that. it's very thrilling. Okay. Uh, so uh, I, I think it's good and swashbuckling enough. Shall I give you my popcorns? Yes, how many popcorns do you give, the puppy? First time I've called it popcorns in four years, by the way. Seven out of ten. Seven out of <laughs> ten popcorns. What a way to start Seven the week. Seven out of ten papillons. Woo! Papillons. Well, thank you so much, JP Sebastian. If you're gonna go check out Papillon, it just got a whole seven. A whole seven popcorns out of ten. Am I that stingy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>